Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving roots? From what we have here, which is 100 raised to power root x, which is equals to square root of 1000 raised to power x. Now, from here, we can rewrite this when we have root a, the same thing as a raised to power half. So, when we rewrite what we have here, this becomes 100 then raised to the power root x now equals to 1000 raised to the power x then raised to the power half. Then from here, this power we multiply and we can also write this as 100 raised to the power root x now equals to 1000 raised to the power x over 2 on the law of indices here. Then also, we can express 100, we can write 100, this same thing as 10 multiplied by 10, and with same thing as 10 squared. Then also 1000 here, the same thing as 10 times 10, then times 10, which is the same thing as 10 raised to the power 3. So here, this becomes 10 square, then raised to the power root x. And also here we have 10 cube, then raised to the power x over 2. Then from, when we have a raised to the power m, then raised to the power n, this is the same thing as a raised to the power n times n. So we can multiply this power out from here and this will become 10 raised to the power 2 root x here then equals to here become 10 raised to the power 3 over 2 x from here. Then on the law of indices when we have same base here we can equate the power then we have 2 root x here is now equals to 3x over 2 here. Then from here we can multiply 2 by 2 in order to clear this you know, fraction. And this will become 4 root x equals to 3x here. Then because of this square root here, let's take the square on both sides. Then we square this side and also we square this side. And from when we have a b all raised to power n, this will be a raised to power n and b raised to power n. So when we apply that here, so this will become 4 square then root x square now equals to 3 square then times x square so what we have 4 square is 4 times 4 that will now be 16 then square cancel square root here that is simply x equals to here 3 square that's 3 times 3 that's 9 then x square now we can take 16 to this side and this becomes 9x square minus 16x now equals to 0 then from there we factor x out so we have x into bracket what left here is 9x then minus 16 left here equals to 0 so you see that we have x equals to 0 here or we have 9x minus 16 equals to 0 so when we solve this, we have 9x equals to 16 and we divide both sides by 9 so that 9 we cancel out here and x here will be equals to 16 over 9. So we have x equals to 0 or x equals to 16 over 9. Now to check from what we have, if these values satisfy a given problem, the first one we have x equals to 
0 so let's substitute what we have here when x is equal to 0 from here this becomes 100 raised to power root 0 is equal to root 1000 raised to power 0 then root 0 is still 0 so we have 100 raised to power 0 equals to 1000 raised to power 0 is 1 as any number raised to power 0 is 1 so this becomes root 1 here then also 100 raised to power 0 2 is 1 here and root 1 is 1 so we have 1 here on the left hand side and 1 on the right hand side so we confirm that x equals to 0 satisfy the given problem now for x equals to 16 over 9 let's check x equals to 16 over 9 from what we have which is 100 raised to power root x so we have 100 raised to power root 16 over 9 is equals to root 1000 raised to power 16 over 9 then let's check from here here root 16 over 9 here this root is affecting 16 and 9 so this will now become 100 raised to power root 16 is 4 and root 9 is what 3 and this is equals to here we can write this as 1000 raised to power 16 over 9 then all raised to power half because square root here is same thing as to power of half now from here this becomes this power we you know multiply and this reduce to 8 so we can see this is 100 raised to power 4 over 3 is now equals to 1000 raised to power 8 over 9 here and also we can express 100 as 10 square now raised to power 4 over 3 is it equals to here yeah, also 1000 10 raised to power 3 9 raised to power 8 over 9 then this power multiplies and 2 times 4 here yeah, that's 8 so we have 10 raised to power 8 over 3 is it equals to here yeah, this power multiplies as well and we can say 3 here yeah, 1 3 here yeah, 3 so also this side is 10 raised to power 8 over 3 left and we have the left hand side now also equals to the right hand side and from here as well x equals to 16 over 9 satisfy the given f problem and thank you for watching please subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up if you have a comment put it in the comment section see you next class and bye for now